Hey, what's up guys? It's Risky here. Welcome back to another Call of the Wild video on my channel here today. I have a little idea for today's video. Since I don't really have much going on in Call of the Wild as of lately, don't really have any grinds that I'm going after, nothing like that. I just been doing fun little ideas and just random kind of videos that I don't see other people doing. So today, we're gonna go to our graphics settings really quick and we're gonna go down here to system graphics and we're just gonna turn everything uh, low as we can go and it only sets it to medium but we're going all the way as low as we possibly can any optic tropic filtering uh screen space reflection all of that to as low as it can possibly go i'm not too sure how well it's going to pick up on video i'm sure it will pick up just fine even though i am recording in 720p because my computer just hates recording on this game lately for some reason but you can definitely tell that the trees they're like not moving or anything and the grass just is awful there's like not any shadows but we're just gonna run around shoot some stuff talk about some things and uh see how well we can spot animals with these terrible graphic settings okay so our graphics are on the lowest settings and if you look over here from where we're standing right now you you can't see any animals but then as soon as i zoom in you can see grizzly bears so i guess due to the graphic settings being super low uh it's it's hard to see animals at farther range because the render distance gets like lowered or whatever i want to shoot one of these grizzly bears because since the settings are really low it means that the animal texture quality will be very terrible and i just want to see exactly how bad one of these grizzly bears will look on the lowest setting so i'm gonna get a little bit closer here we're just gonna blast it with 300 or something doesn't really matter and we'll take a look at it just to see how ugly it looks and also i do want to say really quick make sure you hit those notification bells come on now YouTube sub boxes don't like me sometimes and my videos won't pop up in there and you'll just be like dang risky hasn't uploaded in a while even though I did upload so make sure you turn on those notifications all right let's go ahead and put one in her there and she's gonna go down and we'll go check out that texture with these low settings first off let's take a look at the texture honestly not as bad as I thought I'm gonna let me double check and make sure my fur quality yeah, it's low as you can go. So, I mean, it's really not that bad. It's honestly not that terrible. The more, like, it, it's really not. I mean, you can definitely see it's, like, very pixely and stuff because it's trying to, like, show the fur. It's not just, like, a flat texture, which is good. At least it still has some of that, like, fur kind of, like, depth to it. But, but it honestly looks better than I thought. <laughs> what do the birds look like? Okay, I guess we're just not gonna hit that one. All right, let's, let's use this one that we just shot as an example for the birds. I'm sure they don't, they won't look that bad either. And gotcha. All right, so hey, yeah, the birds actually look pretty good. They look basically how they would, you know, in the high quality. I think they just don't have as much shine to the feathers. They don't have that like really, really high quality. They're more of a flat texture because if you have them on high, They'll actually have some like shine to them, which is realistic, obviously not bad. And that's not a bad one either, I guess. So honestly, like if you have a really bad PC and you can run this game, I mean, your experience isn't going to be that bad. I mean, other than like the terrain and stuff, it doesn't really look all that great. But I mean, honestly, it's not that bad. The lowest of the low settings, it's not terrible. Oh my gosh, we laid that guy out. <laughs> nice shot there man thanks <laughs> no problem well let's check out mr moose here i mean the quality's not bad on him either i mean minus these little like weird like fur pixely type deals uh other than that it's not bad the antlers they're you know playstation 2 quality they're not bad but you know you can definitely tell that they're antlers they're not just like blobs of stuff all right target acquired we're gonna go try and take out as many of these guys as we can. So we're gonna drop down here first though. And oh my God, look at the trees. They look awful. <sighs> Boom, lifesaver. I hope they never patch that because that would be annoying because it's very handy to be able to just do that. Jump off the bridge like that instead of having to go all the way around. But knowing them, they will patch it because they even made it where you can't put tents and stuff on the bridge and you also can't put tents on roads and stuff anymore with their alert. So we should probably hurry this up. So let's go ahead zero for 150. And we got two down. Hit that one. He's going down. <laughs> oh, he's going down anyway. So he must have made a, like a decent shot, single long or something. 
I think these are probably the worst looking ones that we've picked up so far out of the moose and the bear. They definitely don't look that great. But, you know, like I said before a million times already, they don't look terrible for really low settings. The last thing I want to do before I end this video is I'm going to head into my lodge and I just want to see what the trophy lodge looks like with super low settings. I just want to see like what the textures and everything are like, see what maybe the animals look like on the wall, things like that. All right, here we are. Let's open the door. Oh my word. <laughs> you can definitely tell a big difference with the trophy lodge right away. The floor, we'll do like a, a before and after here in a second. I'll turn the graphics like all the way up. There's the bison on the plaque and everything. You can just tell that the lighting isn't, there's not as many shadows and stuff. Honestly, like if you have a really bad PC though, like your experience won't be that bad. It's not gonna be terrible. Oh my God, you can see the outside. How, how bad quality the outside is out though. I, what am I even saying? The outside is out though. That's not English. But I mean, once you get closer to it, it's not bad. But when you're far away and it's not like loading in all the way, it starts to look like PlayStation 2 type stuff. All right, let's go over here somewhere. We'll stand in the hallway and I'll just max my settings. I normally don't play on ultra because it just, you know, it, I don't really care about it. And medium and high is just, they're fine enough. Take a good look at it real quick. And let's go into the settings and let's go ultra. Whoa, that's laggy. Oh my gosh. That's really laggy. <laughs> Holy shit. And this is high. This is high settings. This is normally what I play on. Lately, I've been playing on medium just because I've slowly stopped caring about what my game looks like. Uh, and medium is just fine. The more I look at the floor, it's actually not a huge difference. It's really not that crazy. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out a bunch. I appreciate every single one of you. Don't forget to turn on those notification bells, like I said before. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.